Hello, it's David Clark from DVC here, and I want to take you on a quick tour of what's new in EDIUS 8.1. EDIUS 8.1 was released at the end of October in 2015, and it's the first update to EDIUS 8, which came out at the end of July. Possibly the most important thing to be added to EDIUS 8.1 is proper support for Windows 10. We've been using EDIUS 8 on Windows 10 and it's been working, but not everything was okay. Things like QuickSync weren't working. EDIUS 8.1 is a properly validated version by Grass Valley for Windows 10. Now, a lot of people have been waiting for this, but there's been a big splash about Windows 10 all over the place, and Microsoft will be shouting at you on your existing computers to upgrade them to Windows 10. But that's one of the biggest things about it. It's now properly supported on Windows 10. This means, for example, that QuickSync now works. QuickSync uses something which is built into the Intel i7 and i5 processors to do fast encoding into H.264 formats for either Blu-ray files or MP4 files. And EDIUS is one of the few programs that supports it. So basically, you can make these kind of files a lot faster than you would otherwise. I mean, for example, I have a 10-minute timeline full of AVC HD here. It's all high definition. When I export that using the normal encoder with EDIUS, it's going to take... 20, 30, or even 40 minutes. If I use QuickSync, this thing will be done in two or three minutes. So it's an awful lot quicker than it would be just using the standard software. Now, to get it working, you have to have the right kind of processor and you have to have your computer set up properly. We've talked about that in other videos. It's all done using the Intel graphics card, which is built into the processor. Now, Intel are always changing the drivers for these graphics cards, and then that stops QuickSync working inside of EDIUS. On Windows 7 and Windows 8, you can always just choose to not update the drivers and keep on one that actually works. But with Windows 10, as soon as you installed it, it would put in a driver which would stop QuickSync working. In this update of EDIUS, Grass Valley have updated the QuickSync so now that it works with the latest Intel drivers. Just to prove it, I'm going to go File, Export, Print to File, choose a format. So this is going to be one of these H.264 formats, and I'm either going to choose this H.264 format here, which does MP4 files, or the Blu-ray setting. Let's just go for the MP4 one. Click on Export, give it a name, and decide where to stick it. And you will have noticed the hardware tick box that was there in the dialog. Basically, you wouldn't get that hardware tick box unless you have something which is set up and do quick and properly. And here you can see, yep, it's going to take about two minutes to get this 10 minutes encoded into MP4 which is just a huge time saver. Now, in addition to Windows 10, another important thing has happened recently, and that's Intel have brought out some new processors. This system is using what's called a Skylake processor. And of course, the Skylake processors have updated bits and pieces inside of them. And one of the things that was updated is the part of it that does QuickSync. And just like with Windows 10, you couldn't get QuickSync working on this kind of processor using EDIUS 8 or using EDIUS 7. It needed an update. Well, that update is in EDIUS 8.1, because as you can see, I'm using a Skylake processor, and it was happily doing QuickSync with the hardware. EDIUS 8 also uses QuickSync to soup up the playback. I talked about it in our previous EDIUS video, and of course, that's still in EDIUS 8.1, and of course, is now working with the latest processors. So that's the first thing, Windows 10 support and proper QuickSync support for the latest drivers. What else have we got in 8.1?